Now we are heading back to Skakuza Airport and then we're gonna fly to Hootspruit for our next stay at Unambeza Lodge. So let's go! This is how you fuel up in the bush. These guys use 95 unleaded. Best way to get it is just at the gas station. So they brought their drums and bags. So they're gonna fuel up a bit. We're gonna fly to Hootspruit, which is, I guess, I think in a straight line, it's not even that far. It's gonna be a fun ride. It's gonna be hot, hot and bumpy probably. All our stuff <laughs> all over the place. Waiting for Thomas to get us a little trolley so we don't have to go too far with all the baggage. But the wind looks pretty good straight down the runway and I think uh, it'll be like a 40 minute flight, right? Well, with this wind and our planes, it might be like an hour. <laughs> Two and a half hours. We're gonna have fun. <laughs> sticker and I thought I might as well place it at any airport that we've landed at. <laughs> I'm checking for snakes because they tend to crawl in at the bungee uh, holes in the, at night and then you have like an interesting flight experience. <laughs> they bite you right in the butt while you're taking off. That one. <laughs> so how much are you refueling? I'm having so much fun right now. <laughs> but we're gonna put 40 liters in which should give us a like I don't know, two hours of flight. It's currently 10.35, our takeoff slot is at 10.50 and I've contacted Joris from Unumbeza Lodge where we'll be staying tonight that he can pick us up at 12 and we've got Hangridge which is amazing because we aren't really sure what the weather is going to do tonight and thank god the planes didn't go anywhere last night because the storms were crazy uh, luckily everything's safe and sound everybody's working hard and as you can see I'm sitting here on the floor in the shade doing absolutely nothing waiting for the guys to be done. Is it all fit? Yep, just about. Which is crazy. I don't know how all this stuff fits in here. <laughs> Traffic to the from India Delta Hotel lining up for runway 35 thereafter towards the Switz. And link at 61, clear the exit runway 35. We've got hangar space for the aircraft. Just had a look at this beautiful savannah, and Joris over there has been kind enough to pick us up. Yeah. Joris! Yeah! Hey! Hello! Hello. Yeah. What's our plan? Oh, I think we're going to drive to the lodge and maybe have lunch together, and you can have a dip in the pool or go on a drive and uh, oh, just relax. Yeah, and it's not a big five game reserve because otherwise. It would take away from the freedom of people to be able to walk around, cycle. Mm. We've got a lot of general game, impalas, giraffes, zebras, blue wildebeest, kudus, sinyalas. Sort of a lot of, a lot of nice antelope running around. Vilan Bali stands for beautiful flower, right? Yes, Bali is a beautiful flower.
We are definitely enjoying this nice and cool pool. And I think in about an hour and a half, we've got a sunset drive. But this was the perfect end to a flying day. So the aim of the nature drive is to see what kind of animals we've got. We've got a lot of general game running around, um, but also to do a bit of an interpretational thing. So I've got the gin and tonics with me and I've got some snacks, but we've got something I'll set up for you this afternoon. So we're not actually going to be stopping for the sundowners out in the bush. So we just had an amazing sundown on the rooftop and now the candlelit dinner under the stars is set up for us and look how beautiful this is. Morning. Ready for the morning flight? Uh, yes, I just quickly want to just dry the seats after the thunderstorm we had last night. <laughs> it's great weather comes and goes. Mm -hmm. We just had our coffee and hot chocolate and are ready to head out towards the Blyde River Canyon. It is the northern part of the Drakensberg and it's where the low veld and the high veld meet. So the visibility looks amazing and we're ready to go. It was the first time I've seen the canyon from this side and um, that uh, Bryder Canyon Dam and uh, I think uh, Three Rondalvels is what they call it. Beautiful. How was your first flight here? Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Ugh. Second flight so, ever. So yes. Small second flight ever. So um, Moritz, thank you very much for offering up your space. It was a very kind gesture of you. I really do appreciate it. Um, yeah, it kind of gives you a different perspective of the town we live in and how much expansion is happening, but also the development of the game reserves and things. So it is actually amazing. We had an amazing stay at Numeza Lodge and guys, I think everyone enjoyed it, huh? Super, super. Hospitality was great, food was amazing, and it's such a prime location. So we are gonna head back to the airfield, refuel, and then go on to our next day, which is actually, I think, 10 minutes drive from here. But let's go. We just arrived at Air Hotel, and this is where we're gonna be staying tonight. So let's start off in the cockpit. Let's have a look. As you can see, it's still quite intact. Uh, I wouldn't take off from here, but yeah, it looks pretty good. <laughs> so from the cockpit, we go straight to the lounge area. And you see some old seats. I can do some wing walking. <laughs> now onto the rooms. As you see, we've got the different rooms and they're all named after clouds. And we've got Sierra Kumos. So, welcome. You don't need much more space. It's air conditioned. 
beautiful room, bathroom, bar. So I left my gin and tonic in here, but we have to get one for you as well. So let's go to the bar. Welcome to the bar. So this one's for you. <laughs> Lastly, we've got this beautiful lounge and I don't think I've ever seen a cooler floor than this. All right, well, the desserts are here for us and I'm gonna enjoy this by the pool with a gin tonic with view over this beautiful 737 and coming soon is the 727 back there. So uh, yeah, we're gonna enjoy our stay here. Good morning! I slept really well in our 737 suite and um, yeah, this place is awesome. But we are heading back to Johannesburg. The only thing is that the weather is looking good here, uh, but that way it's looking a bit iffy. So I hope we make it back on time today and otherwise we'll just have to extend our trip. But let's see what the guys say about the weather. Morning guys! Morning. What's the weather looking like today? Not very good. Ooh. It's not so bad over here, Yeah. but at Joburg it seems pretty bad. I am uh, investigating alternatives. What's our routing going to be for today? Uh, so I think we'll probably go from here to the Blyder Canyon and then fly Groblis Dal. Assess the situation and then decide where to go. So we got a breakfast to go and they made me a little sandwich. So this is not a bad place to be eating breakfast. <laughs> So we made it to Middleburg behind the rain and we decided to go this way since it's slightly more on track than the runway that we planned to land at. Um, I think Thomas had to use the bathroom. So we're stretching the legs and then looking what the weather's doing towards Petite. Hopefully we'll make it, uh, it'll be about 50 minutes to an hour flying. Guys, honestly, thank you so much for this awesome opportunity. If you guys want to see more from Thomas and Stefan, make sure to check out Thomas Mero and of course, KFA's channel and Hangar 14 for some more technical stuff. So uh, I hope to see you guys on the next one. Bye.